Okay, we are continuing in the discussion of growth. And one of the reasons why it's important to grow, because we have to deal with other people. We're not just growing for ourselves. We're growing for a harvest of souls so that we can minister to um, varying needs. So growth enables an individual to be equipped to deal with the harvest. And so the approach of the equipment that a person intends to use as they minister is extremely important. It's extremely different from generation to generation, from the traditionalist generation of World War I, World War II, all the way to um, the millennials and now, of course, the Google generation um, and every other generation in between. It's important for us to understand the equipment that's being used in the process and try to reach people where they are instead of trying to bring people to where we are. Um, so the equip being equipped to deal with the harvest means that you, the minister, whether you're a dancer, singer, um, artist, if you're into the performing arts on stage and theater, if you're a musician, whatever that particular gift is, it needs to be relevant so that you can reach people where they are. With that being said, we will continue on and deal with one of the aspects of dealing with the harvest. Some people just need to be restored. And Jeremiah 30 verse 17 says, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Some people, um, believe it or not, have been very hurt, very abused by systems, or, or they've been disappointed by systems that have failed them. And so it's important that as you meet these people, as you administer your particular gift, and these people come to the forefront, it's important for you to be able to distinguish the restoration that's needed. Um, Galatians 6 verse 1 deals with if anyone's been overtaken in a fault, those that are spiritual should restore or reinstate that individual um, without being or acting superior to that individual. And so in the area of um, music and arts ministry, uh, music and arts are extremely uh, popular and people become very attracted by your gifting. And so once they become attracted to your gifting, your equipment is to be able to deal with them where they are. And as you become exposed to the areas of re restoration that are needed, um, you know, equip yourself with the word so that you can effectively minister. Um, your abilities are very limited without the Holy Spirit. And so it's important to understand what, what our purpose is. We are healed to heal. We are blessed to be a blessing. Beyond that, there is a reproductive quality or multiplicity quality that exists within each of us from the beginning in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 um, we were commanded to be fruitful multiply replenish the earth there's some multiplication reduplication of ourselves and others that should happen as a result of what it is that we do um, there are seeds of talent and prosperity that have been planted within us from the beginning and those seeds it's time for those seeds to actually come forth. In fact, in Ephesians chapter 2, it talks about the world being longing for the manifestations of the creature of the sons of God to wit. So within us is the gift that needs to be reproduced in others. And the world is, the earth is crying out for the manifestation of that particular gift. Okay, so how do we, how do we get there? It's, we have to look in, into ourselves, look at the, what was planted in us, look at our intrinsic abilities, and figure out how can we tap into those abilities in order to fulfill what it is we're supposed to be doing. And not only tapping into it, but thinking about mastering. In that scripture in Genesis, it says, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue, and dominate. The act of subduing is to take over. Dominate is another way of saying master. Master the gifts and the abilities that you were given to be planted in the earth so that you can have a harvest um, that would lead to a life of reproduction. Now the consequence or the failure to reproduce leaves people at a stage in their growth that they should have surpassed. 
And so we want to always be at the place where we can move on, transition on, and not be stuck in an area of development. With that being said, we're going on to our next assignment for this particular week. And in this assignment, the first thing you'll need to do is list one of your intrinsic abilities and ways you can access or tap into it. Now, um, what, what, have you, what, what were you born with? So that's really one of the things that we are talking about. What is it that you know how to do that doesn't require any type of pushing or prompting? You wake, wake up in the middle of the night and you can do this without thinking. You don't really need a whole lot of education to do it. It's something you were just born and able to do. That thing is an intrinsic ability, right? Um, when, when I have um, here, it says, what ways can you access or tap into it? I'm just talking about you know what what is it that what is it that what environment do you need to be in to be able to do this all the time right um, what mentality does a person need to be in to be able to do that gift all the time and then how can this ability manifest as fruit bearing right in other words as you do this gift how can it produce fruit when you plant this gift in the ground, how does it come up as a tree that has more of the same on it? That's what the assignment is for this week. I look forward to seeing what you came up with. All right.